Welcome to the Joyous Kingdom. In today's video, we'll be doing a brutally honest review on the Dippies NFT project. I've heard the call. I've heard the call. They also made me an honorary Dippy. I'm number 13. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. This thing is fucking awesome. This thing is fucking awesome. So I appreciate it from the Dippies. It's not paid. They just sent this to me out of good faith. It was actually really, really cool. Um, and also, the honorary Dippies, if you go to their page, it's like a bunch of hella famous people, dude. There's like a bunch of famous people. I'm not going to go through them all, but if you want to go through them, Thank you. I appreciate it. But that will not actually influence the review of this project. I'm going to try and take myself out of it as much as I can. So if you're excited to get into it, smash the like, subscribe to the channel, join the kingdom. If you're already following me on Twitter, if you're not in my Discord down below the description, you're missing out on all the alpha. If you haven't already, get your five free stocks using my Weeble link down below in the description. It's a crypto and stocks trading platform. As you guys know, the goal of this channel is to instill the knowledge and confidence it's going to take to navigate this metaverse on your own one day. So if that sounds good to you, let's get into the video. For any companies who want to get in contact with me, just email me at joysofficial at gmail.com. Here is the Dippy's open C page, 0.22 ETH floor, 7.6 thousand Ethereum traded, 5.8 thousand owners, 8.9 thousand items. Also, I, I thought it would be good to mention that um, they sent me the Dippy before they even minted. And uh, yeah, so I don't, I don't even know if that's pertinent, but if it is, that's just, yeah. Anyways, so here's what they look like. Here's the art. I mean, you saw the one I have. I have the best one in the entire collection, but this is what all of the art looks like. Really cute. They're digital hippies. That's the, that's the brand that they're going with they've got a strong brand as you guys know that the anime community is huge for azukiya obviously as we just saw but the hippie community is also really strong the weed community is really strong and so you know those things kind of go hand in hand and that's a really really strong brand and they're really really tapping into that energy and so if we take a look at their activity they've also uh seen a really good run up right in the beginning you know this is kind of the tail end of that little bull run uh hitting out like a floor i don't know what the floor was but their average sales were at 0.77 so that's really really good and then they kind of tapered off since then this is a decent buying opportunity i know the uh, I think the support the support line has been around 0.17 or so it hasn't really dropped below that and so they're sitting at a 0.22 floor currently if you look at their holders, you can go to Etherscan and check this out, by the way. A 1.5 percentage is the, the highest that they have. And it's by this null address as possible that this is their uh, their wallet, like the, the Dippies wallet. Uh, and if it is, then the one below it is 1%. So there's no big whales in here. It's good to see. And here's the Dippies Twitter page. 74.4 thousand followers. Uh, they're killing it. They're killing it with the brand work. They're killing it with, with the posting content. I would love to see even more video content, though, even though they've done a little bit here and there. But I would love to see more videos. You know, they really kill it with the gift and they've got incredible cute art it's really fun stuff man so I, I just say continue on what they're doing they're doing a lot of good marketing uh they've got some merch coming out they've got just all around good stuff for, for brand work, which is the thing that most people should be focusing on for projects that are focused around community like this and same thing with their instagram really good brand the colors are there reminds me a little bit of like doodles style doodles vibes and so it's good to see this is the kind of stuff you want to see on all their social media platforms and i popped into their discord to make sure everything was organized they didn't have a billion channels i would say they have a, a lot of channels i don't think they need qu quite nearly as many as they do they've definitely got probably 30 percent too many channels in here so they could probably close them up and nothing would really happen uh, but everything looks organized everything looks good in here so. so this is their website looks about what i would have expected it to look like dippy is funk meat web 3 a collection of 8,888 unique digital hippies that are building the new free world before our eyes we scroll down to check out this video stuff if you're gonna make a video though i would definitely say spend that extra coin throw some animation in there i think that would be i would take this video to the absolute next level but it's good stuff i love to see video you guys know lore brand it's all so important with with pfp projects that are centered around community we look at the story when you picture a hippie you likely envision a character that is stuck at a time you picture woodstock psychedelics and flowers in reality hippies have been evolving over the years and technology has been enabling a new complete era of hippie to take form the digital hippie the dippy dippies are modern day adaptations of the hippie with the same values ones that are more in touch with society but are still working quietly 
uh, carving their own path rather than refusing to take part in the system. D Dippies are building uh, businesses to lay themselves out of the system rather than existing in small communities off the grid. Dippies are building global communities around the world rather than refusing the way things are. Dippies are changing the way things are and many of them are using crypto to do it. Sticking it to the man has become building a new world rooted in decentralization. Our collection with the Dippies collection was to commemorate the initial ideas of hippies that we all have while adding a modern flame or a flare. We want to show characters that are oozing originality and funk while inspiring you and the community to stand up and create a world you believe in. When you rock a dippy, you're rocking rebellion, counterculture, and, re and freedom. You're getting access to a connected community that's working together and throwing in events for the new world. You're rocking a character that represents the true free world being built before our eyes. And you know what's funny? I see myself in this lore here. I, I, I'm a digital hippie and they even gave me the, the little avatar there. So look, if you guys are planning on doing animation, hit me up to do some like, I don't know, voiceover stuff. I'd be down if you guys end up doing any kind of story stuff. Hit me up, Dippies. Hit me up, Dippies fam. Fire Pit. Here's where we come together and shape the future of the Dippies. This is a spot where the Dippy collection gather to make a difference in the Web3 space and vote on proposals as a community. Come and get to know your family today. Showcase your skills and find your like-minded people. I'm going to assume this is a DAO setup or at least uh, the beginnings of a DAO. And we got a roadmap here. Also for the DAO, it looks like one NFT equals one vote for voting on stuff. They're looking for a community first approach. Bounty for the King and Queen Dippy. If you mint one of the King or Queens, there's two in the, uh, of each one. You'll be sent three ETH straight to your wallet. That's wild. Uh, they got the Dippy Stash next. This is going to be a little bit of their treasury that you guys get to vote on, depending on how many Dippies you have. Each one equals one vote. Then they have Merch. Looks like they already dropped that. Then they're going to be releasing the Vans. And each, it's a one-to-one -one ratio. So if you hold 10 Dippies, you get 10 Vans. The Vans are free, so all those holders just have to pay gas. And the Vans will have utility. We'll be posting some sneak peeks in the Discord. And release the 2.0, which is coming out for Phase 5. And here we have a meet the team. We've got Sal, a founding hippie, Taylor, a founder and artist, Sam, an advisor, Izzy, an advisor, board yacht club holder, latency labs for the developers. So first we'll check out Sam, the founding dippy. We got Uncle Sal's Twitter page, what he looks like. He does a great job again with pushing the brand, his own personal brand, being active on Twitter, engaging with the community, does good stuff there. Here's his Instagram page, 33.4 thousand followers. I guess he's based out of Dubai and Toronto. And this is what he looks like. It's, this is good to see. Really good to see from a founder to see who they really are. He's actually a TikToker. I've actually seen his videos. He's pretty funny. Um, and yes, yeah, this is what he looks like. One of the founders. Next up, we got Taylor, founder and artist of Dippies. This is his Twitter page. Uh, he also, again, same shit. Just uh, pushing the brands, pushing his own personal brand, engage the community, all good stuff on his Twitter. And this is some examples of his art that he's working on his website here cool stuff now we have sam an advisor and this is his twitter page he's partnered up with a few different projects here i haven't really heard of either of these um so i, I can't really like speak on if, if that's impressive or not and there's no linkedins for any of these guys so again that doesn't really i don't really know how qualified they are but this is an art more of an art focused project here and so this is his twitter here he's partners with these three projects and he's also previously worked with the doodles project which is a lot of you guys know is a massive massive brand in the nft space so that's also good to see here and he does a good job pushing the brand Brand, staying active, pushing his own personal brand, does an overall good job on his Twitter. And then here is his Instagram page here. You get to see what he looks like in real life. This is the guy. I, uh, I think it's a great job posting his personal brand, letting people connect with him as a person. This is all good stuff. This is what you want. Oh, it's a fellow subducts holder. Hell yeah. Uh, but it's what you want to see from founders because especially if something goes wrong, you want to have a personal brand to fall on. That way people aren't just like, this is some random anonymous person who doesn't like us, doesn't care about us. You get to, uh, you know, empathize a little bit as a human to human. Next up, we have Izzy, advisor, board of Yacht Club holder. This is his Twitter page, head of community and founding team at Genies, which is a fashion brand that I haven't really heard of, but it looks like it's got a big following. This is what their Twitter page looks like. So yeah, it looks like some kind of high-end fashion based out of Venice, California slash Tokyo, Japan. So not sure what that's about, but here's an example of what it looks like. Fits kind of like the hype, hype beast culture. And he's a partner at The Humans, which is an investing brand. And so they have this thing where NFT projects can kind of sign up and uh, if they're interested in investing, they'll do that. So it's sort of, like a, sort of like a VC fund, I guess you could say. And this is his Instagram page here. Uh, and this is what he looks like here. Young guy is a board of yacht club holder. I'm glad to see that the, most of the guys in this team are, are docs and are posting photos of themselves. It's good to see, just kind of humanizes the project a little bit. It makes people feel better about being in the project. And finally, we have Latency Labs as a developer. This is their website. They've also worked with uh, an NFT project called the Sneaky Vampire Syndicate, which is a pretty big project uh, that a lot of people have heard of. So that's good to see. In the NFT space, who you've worked with is really, really important. What your resume is, who you can handle, the level of, of uh, competence you have is kind of rooted in who you've worked for in the past. I would say for, for constructive Christians for this project, I would say to definitely get more video, get on TikTok, get Instagram Reels, get on YouTube Shorts. You gotta be posting a lot more content here. They've got the brand already. They've got the ideas. They've got the, they've already got everything set. I think mean, they take the animation 
make sure the next level nothing's gonna stop these digital hippies from taking over the world anyways guys hope you enjoyed this video hope you learned something if you did smash like in this video subscribe to the channel join the kingdom if you're not following me on twitter if you're not in my discord down below the description you're only hurting yourself you're not getting that free alpha if you want to get free five five free stocks using my Weeble link. Uh, yeah, you're helping yourself out. You get free money. Helps me out directly. We all win. It's a crypto and stocks trading platform. If you want to see more of me right now, click away these boxes are assigned me. Until next time, continue on your joy age. Continue to learn. And we're grateful you're alive watching this video.